Why, hello, I'm Maris. This is Game Request. This is... One I want... nor here nor there, whilst picking Gypsophilus mm. was often the main source of entertainment. Okay. Just as every night, Prieto had the recurrent feeling that the strange beings and pantomimes that inhabited the orb were somewhat unlike him. Okay, so... This is... Now, I'm not sure if it's Oni... Onirike or Enrique. It's O N I R I K E. It reminds me of like a claymation, something that would like come from like Tim Burton or something. So, right now, we're starting out fresh and we're in a circus. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do stuff. Clowns are said to hide sadness behind their disguise. Strength to put on a smile had abandoned this one clown. Fears of being branded as ridiculous drove him to desperately seek approval. In the end, his possessive little puppet took control of his movements with the strings that held them together. Okay. Pluto was insecure and shy and had never really found the courage to mingle with the others, but surely just around the corner that was all going to change. Okay. Looking at the clown, Pluto came to realize that there was something he wanted to say, but the puppet wouldn't let him. What if he just cut the strings? What if I cut this, cut the strings? All right. Cut the strings. Prieto felt that the rest of the beings in the circus weren't like him. Uh, I, yeah, I the see that. The strange beings in the circus would do the same thing night after night, like clockwork. Gotcha. All right, so we gotta cut the strings. Can we get up here? No, of course not. Here's me trying to wall walk already and break things. What is that over there? Uh. Prieto felt that the rest of the beings in the circus weren't like him. I see. While Prieto pondered over how to free the clown, he encountered greasy, obese Bran Mac, who, as he usually did, was milking his poor, skinny cow. Greed is a bottomless pit, Aww. a never-ending effort which never provides true satisfaction, and Bran Mac was the epitome of a greedy soul. He found utmost joy in storing all kinds of objects, for they were his most cherished treasure. He boasted to others about them and took displeasure in seeing them touched by hands that were not his own. Oh. You there. Why do I see you lurking around here? Look at the mess you've made. Spat Grand Mac. Prieto, a little scared, dared not move. You are jealous of my wealth, are you not? Said Grand Mac. Prieto timidly glanced at Grand Mac's prized possessions. An old pair of scissors caught his eye. Two colleagues walk into a beat. Big round eyes and long, long feet. Said Grand Mac. Prieto, eyes fixed on the scissors, did not utter a word. Hmm. In view of this, Grand Mac said, Are you dumb? Or you just cannot talk. Do you like my scissors? If you want them, you will have to give me something precious in return. Yes, Round it's a very like a saucer, unaffected by blows and relentless bouncer. I, uh, I know, I know what he wants. I already know. Okay. Okay. Yes, medieval. Yeah, I, you know, I saw this and was like, oh my god. Let me, let me see if they'd let me take a look at this game early. And, uh, they are. I shouldn't say early. I think it came out, um, or, it, you know, it just came out. 
Even if the thought of giving one of his precious possessions away did not come easy to Grand Mac, the sublime spherical perfection of Prieto's finding impressed him. After some hesitation, Grand Mac decided on offering a truce. I need to save that cow. So it seems that you were not so dumb after all. You may have the scissors in exchange for the ball, he said. Okay. Silence is a hard argument to refute, and Prieto remained tight-lipped. Grand Mac handed over his precious scissors to Prieto, and then admired his newly acquired orbicular treasure. Oh, orbicular treasure. Amazing word. I appreciate that. Prieto felt that the rest of the beings in the circus I'd say so. Like him. What's this one doing? The strange beings in the circus would do the same thing night after night, like clockwork. Oh. Oh, look at that! I the need to get out of the circus. Them, the more out of place Prieto felt. Alright, let's go cut the ties that bind us. This is also an original story by, I believe, one of the developers. So, like, this, uh, you know, is something out of their brain, which is most... Prieto returned to the clown's house. Again... He had the feeling Which that the is most stories, but like, but the puppet wouldn't let him. We'll just say it's a different take on certain things. So I'm interested to see how it plays too. Armed with his scissors and guided by his kind heart, Proto decided to cut the strings that held the clown captive. When he did, an enraged puppet stormed out of the circus walls. Huffing in anger and leaving the door open while shouting, Do not call it quits! Unshackled from the puppet strings, the clown broke his silence and warily said to Prieto, Once, a long time ago, I was just like you. I too was full of hope. But over time, I became infected with laziness and neglect. And soon ended up trapped in my own misery. I wholeheartedly appreciate what you've done. I, I love the artwork. Me, but you still have time to leave this place. It is said that beyond the circus walls, within the great volcano, lies the well of truth. There, dreams come true. Follow me, and I will show you something. Offered the clown. Okay. So will I get four arms like you? I, I need to save that cow. That's disturbing with him just going like, oh, greed. Prieto followed the clown up to the gate, and once there, the clown said, I have been watching you closely, night after night, and I believe you still have not learnt how to keep your memories at sunrise. Do you see that circular stone on the floor? It is a memory stone. There are many of them spread out throughout the orb. If you place yourself on top of one at dawn, time will begin to accelerate. Try it for yourself, and you will slowly see that when the sun rises, you will no longer feel lethargic, nor will your memory fail you. Okay. Whoop. Bug on, and we'll take the dog out. What else is new? Daytime arrived, and the memory stone took Prieto to the Jasophila field, a place of splendor. Filled with light that made Prieto feel so light as a feather and full of hope. Still unaware, Prieto ignored that those beautiful spores floating through the air were going to be much needed on his journey. Oh, jeez. There we go. 
How cool is this? I got to do better at uh, flying here. Shoop. It's getting dark. While Pretho busied himself with picking spores, night fell. Pretho okay. returned to the orb, but on this occasion, unlike other nights, his memory had not deserted him. Okay. The clown stood next to the memory stone and, determined to help Prieto, remarked, I see you have not been idle in the Gistophila field. You have handpicked quite a few spores. Do you remember the bright flowers that grow on the circus walls? Yes. They are called Gistophilas. These flowers give you hope and make you be seen. If you cease to pick these flowers for a while, you will become invisible and will vanish into thin air until night falls again. Although flowers only grow naturally behind the circus walls, it is possible to plant them elsewhere. Come with me, said an enthused clown on their way to the gates of the Stonewood. Um. Oh. Uh. Look at this plant with the eyeball. Plays Operation 7. An intrigued Prieto kept track of the clown. Once inside the this wood, is the Onu clown said, Onurike? Here. Onurike? This here is the ideal spot to plant the spores you pick. You will soon see how quickly flowers full of hope bloom. Prieto did as he was told and planted a spore. In no time at all, bright flowers sprung up from the soil. The clown, full of excitement as he had once been before, said to Prieto, If you so desire to explore the orb, you ought to learn how to administer the spores correctly. I have marked out specific areas of the wood that are suitable for cultivation. Okay. If you plant seeds in these areas, you should be able to visit the flank. They tend to contradict themselves a fair bit, but the truth of the matter is, they hold many secrets regarding the orb. Not far from where they live lies a big stone heart. It is said to hold a secret within. Prieto entered the stone wood guided by the glimmering spots the clown had marked out to plant Gisophilus. Whoops. Oh. The flanks dwell in the stone wood and have a great knowledge of the orb. You must seek a meeting with them to unravel the secrets of the stone heart. Said Very the hot. Upon seeing Prieto again. It's supposed to be really cruddy weather Thursday and Friday though, and it's supposed to cool off, so we hope. I know some places are having like absolute like frozen Arctic, like negative, like negative, negative weather. Prieto planted a spore, and it instantly grew into a plant. When he picked it from the ground, he noticed a renewed sense of hope from within, which spurred him onwards. There is a chess game in this.
I see they pop back up. That's insane. Yeah, we're in the 90s for at least tomorrow with a heat index of like over 100. But it's summer. I can't wait for August. Hell month. It's going to be great. Prieto began to feel somewhat weak. It was clear that he was in need of the magical Drosophila in order to remain visible. Okay. There we go. 103 in Bergen. Lovely. I did it. Mm. Not a lot of people want to be lifeguards anymore. Speak Spanish. Uh, hmm. Hola. I'm not really, I don't really speak Spanish. I know some very basic stuff. Uh, I guess I dropped down. Yes, it does. This is, is an open world. Um, you know, obviously, you kind of get, like, just in a direction of where to go, but, like, you're free to, you know, go it as you please. It does look like it's a crazy, like, claymation, even with, like, the striations in the animation, like how his head shifts and changes and stuff. Like, it really does look like one of those old-school claymation movies. It's great. trouble. I need, uh, I need one of those. What is that? Arriving to the land of the flanks was no mean feat. However, Prieto stuck to the task and managed to find their house. Prieto approached the flanks, who showed no sign of surprise at his presence. Okay. The face is a mirror of the soul, said one. Looks can 
be deceiving, added the other. Greta stood totally still and wondered whether or not the flanks were talking about him. The confusion is crystal clear. Oh, I actually the have the flank. complete collection of all he his must works. Be the clown's friend, said oh, I the love them. Flank straight away. The hardest thing about having many One of my favorite movies as a kid is uh, Clash of the Titans. Oh. I wonder what he's after. Harry Hamlin said. Mm. Curiosity killed Great. the cat, said the other. But cats have seven lives, you know, added the first. Maybe it's love he seeks, said one of the flanks. Eternal love lasts only so long, added another. I love you not, you love me. I love you not, you love me. I love you not, you love me. I love you not. You love me, I love you not. You love me, I love you not. Okay. You love me. The flanks chanted repeatedly. Prieto was clearly starting to tire of the conversation. I am too. Love was in the air, and Prieto was beginning to choke. <laughs> he decided the best thing would be to leave the flanks as they were, and continue to search for the big stone heart that the clown had spoken of. Okay. Prieto needed Gypsophila so as not to become invisible. A big flower, some tiles, and a huge stone heart. Prieto thought that if they did hide a secret, the flanks had not been a No, I don't play League of Legends. Or perhaps they had. The effect of the gypsophila was fading, and Prieto began to feel somewhat weak. Whoop. Ah! Uh. I love you not. You love me. I love you not. You love me. I love you not. You love me. The flanks clearly knew far more than meets the eye. The heart rose up, and what seemed to be a part of a key came out from within. Ta-da! Yeah, the remake was pretty cool. The graphics were great, but like, nothing beats the original. Did that open up? There it is. Greto left the stone wood as dawn was fast approaching. He needed to find a memory stone in order not to forget the recent happenings. Luckily enough, the clown had marked out a route for him using farmland as reference. He did? Prieto planted the last score he had that night. If he wanted to get more, he should find a memory stone. Oh, we're back here. All right. Let's get good at getting these things. Did they really? I have a big TV here, so, you know. I, uh, I, we just watch them at home. I also, like, you know, have it so, like, I can pull them up on my iPad. Which is awesome if you want to watch something and somebody else doesn't want to watch it. You can just, like, log in on your app and do it.
Look at number 13. Gimme, gimme. Ugh. Ugh, I'm right there. Gotcha. Prieta awoke at dusk and saw the clown waiting for him next to the memory stone. Happy to see Prieto, he said. I knew you'd come back, but I'd never imagined that you'd be able to reveal the secret of the big heart. All I've right. tried it many times, but to no avail. Perhaps the key fragment that the stone heart hid is related to the well of truth. You should look for the gatekeeper and show it to him. The gatekeeper knows how to open all of the orbs doors. You'll recognize him easily. He's green, always dallies around naked, and oh. he's a very panicky and scared person. Okay. When you see him, take care not to scare him. I no longer have the strength to leave the circus, so you'll have to search for him by yourself. Remember all that you've learned about the picking of the Gypsophila. Now you're ready to plant them wherever you please. Dose them up and you'll be able to travel quite far without turning invisible. Sentenced the clown while he returned towards the inside of the circus. Okay. So I think we gotta go this way. Prieto listened to the clown and parted in search of the gatekeeper. Once he got close to one of the doors that sealed the different areas of the orb, Prieto saw a different being of a greenish color that walked about naked. I like how it's got a it butt. It was the gatekeeper. It's a pickle with a butt. Prieto rapidly chased after the gatekeeper, but he, who was quite the scaredy cat, ran away hurriedly after seeing someone getting close to him so fast. Jesus Christ. Prieto ah. rapidly chased after the gatekeeper, but he, who was quite the scaredy cat, ran away hurriedly after seeing someone getting close to him so fast. Prieto was able to not frighten the gatekeeper by walking slowly towards him. What a fright! I thought you was one of the devourers of souls, said the gatekeeper. Prieto trembled at the thought of a devourer of souls and asked himself what the gatekeeper meant by that. The gatekeeper, who saw the grimace on Prieto's face, told him, Have you never seen a devourer of souls? There are many behind this door, but only I know how to open it. Well, open it already. Prieto wasn't excited to meet the Devourers of Souls, but knew that if he wanted to explore the orb and find the Well of Truth, he needed to open the door, even if the Gatekeeper wasn't willing. I got it. I got it. All right, the putrid zone sounds amazing. Even though the gatekeeper didn't offer his help to Prieto, he was able to open the door. The gatekeeper, amazed, said, Are you out of your mind? Do you know what you've just done? Behind that door, there are tons of those devourers of souls. Oh, I think I see one. Fragments of the key to the well of truth. 
The key to the well of truth? Prieto asked himself. Unintentionally, the gatekeeper confirmed Prieto's objective. The fragment found in the stone heart must be part of the key to the well of truth. Prieto mustered up his courage and decided to walk through the door. The Tally ho! Warned him. I don't know what makes you want to enter the putrid zone, but I would suggest you only be brave when there are no monsters before you. The devourers of souls don't have good eyesight, but if they do happen to see you, they will attack without hesitation, the gatekeeper advised. Okay. Behind the door, there's a memory stone, although I doubt whether you will be able to get there. Once there, we may speak in further detail. Can you feel the gaze? They're watching us. I have to go. The gatekeeper concluded hastily while he ran away scared. Peace out. I'm building blocks, it's great. Just as the gatekeeper had foreseen, Prieto bumped into a horrific devourer of souls. He felt frightened to the core. Aha. Uh -huh. What are those? What are those? I would have to do this. Prieto gathered a hundred gypsophila petals that magically turned into a spore. Is it over here? Be bear. Beans. Okay. It's like all rotted fruit and food that's great with maggots around. Prieto found a door made of barbecue ribs. On the floor were four buttons. Would the gatekeeper be waiting behind it? Okay. First, you would need to figure out how to go through it. Okay. As he stepped on one of the buttons, Prieto remembered the gatekeeper's words. If you wish to cross, use the meatballs wisely. I don't know. What meatballs are you talking about? Oh. The meatballs. The putrid, nasty, moldy meatballs. Am I running on bacon? I am. Running on bacon. Prieto became invisible. Uh. He needed Josophila so as not to disappear completely.
guess we gotta stay up here. Put that there. I think those are uh, nasty chocolate bars. I'll tell you what, the design of stuff in this is awesome. Ugh. I should have waited. But I wanted to do it. Trying to rush. Prieto needed Gypsophila to become visible again. Slowly but surely. Okay. All right, so we need another meatball. Prieto became invisible. Where's another meatball? It's right here. Perfection. I thought I might have to change the pattern. That's why. Oh, there he is. Prieto successfully opened the door of juicy ribs. Most certainly. The Those are not juicy. The meatballs wisely. Behind the door, the gatekeeper, true to his word, waited patiently. Upon seeing Prieto, the gatekeeper said, I see you don't give up easily. Someone said you always get somewhere if you keep walking. 
Okay. If I were you, I'd stop walking. But I fear that you'll not heed my word. Nope. What you opened is one of the two doors that grant access to every place in the orb. The Sea of Doubts, the Putrid Zone, the Nothingness, and the Wolf's Mouth. Oh. Hide fragments of the key to the Well of Truth, and therefore are infested with devourers of souls. If you want to make it out alive, it won't suffice just by planting Gypsophilas to keep you visible. You must also learn how to channel all of your hopes at once. That way, you'll be able to move much faster and use your invisibility to avoid any dangers. Try it out. Okay. Ah. You learn quickly, said the surprised yeah. gatekeeper. Now I must leave, the gatekeeper said. I think they're nearby. Can't you sense them? The gatekeeper left while Prieto wondered where to scout for the key fragments first. He was excited to put his newly learned ability into practice. Okay. Let's Dawn was very close. Yep. Prieto stepped on a memory stone and immediately was transferred to the Gypsophila field. Okay. It's delicious. I knew it. I knew it. Crypto pressed a button and an enormous pizza slice fell from the sky. Prieto, intrigued, asked himself if that pizza slice was somehow related to the key fragment that, according to the gatekeeper, was hidden in this place. So we need nine more buttons for nine more pizza slices. That's fine. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting I need to... I need magical flowers. See, they marked them on the map. Gotta find them. Oh, what's that? Oh.
Uh, yes. Yes, they are teeth. It's quite an interesting game. A lot of weird stuff going on. Not that that's bad. It's all like rotten food in this zone and everything. Fungus. Look at these nasty hot dogs. Ah, uh, that's wrong. Oh, no. Okay. Each time Prieto stepped on a button, an enormous pizza slice fell from the sky. Prieto asked himself if anything would happen were he to complete the pizza. Oh, we're completing the pizza. You could be sure of that. I am so lost right now. Oh, this is the giant pizza. Okay. All right, where the hell was I going? Up this way. There's a chicken, a drumstick. Prieto gathered a hundred gypsophila petals that magically yeah. turned into a spore. Is it up on there? Are you kidding me? All right. There. Uh. 
where's the memory stone? I need to figure out where that memory stone is. Because time is passing by. And we'll not have the luxury. Mm. Oof. get my bearings here I think there's a stone over here right yes okay Oh, just to let you know, tomorrow's video on YouTube is going to be a long one. It's over 50 minutes, but, but, it is all of the tables for the Star Wars Pinball VR, and it's awesome. So I know it's I know it's like almost an hour long, but I do take a look look at all the tables and uh, they did a great job. Really, a lot of fun. Okay. So it's the pork chop. We got this. And then after that, I have another game um, called A Rogue Escape. Uh, Non-VR, uh, non it's called Nauticrawl. It's like a... Not necessarily an escape room, but like a take on an escape room, but like you're piloting this giant like steampunk mech. It, it's nuts. There's a whole world to explore. It's, it's a lot. Oh, no, no, those are for the recorded videos. We're playing Witcher tomorrow, that's for sure. I may, I'm probably going to do what I did last week and come on early, because I really do want to continue to get some of the area stuff and some of, like, the low side quests done. Plus, I'm glad that I was able to get so many, um so many points and everything like that. Like, we got, what, eight or ten um, talent points, so definitely going to do that again, get some more levels, have a good old time. Very close. 
Griffith sure is. on a memory stone and immediately was transferred to the gypsophila field. All right, let's do better with getting spores. I did a heckum fail last time. Ugh. Paleant collection mode. Uh. Okay. So. I thought I saw something crazy down here. This looks like it's a train track and a train. During his adventure exploring the orb, Prieto reached a small cardboard town surrounded by enormous teeth. In front of him, there was also a strange being with crazed look yelling, the little train choo-choo, the little train choo-choo, all the time. Okay. Prieto stood in bewilderment as he stared. The strange being said, the townsfolk left many moons ago, and now the train has stopped. It's beautiful tune calm my soul ever so. I need its choo choo. Will you help me in finding the townsfolk? If you bring them back, I will give you a shimmering crystal in return. Shiny! A shimmering crystal? It could be a key fragment for the Well of Truth, thought Prieto. From time to time, they visit the big volcano, but they have never taken this long to come back. They must have gotten lost. Okay. This guy's a bit wonky. Just like to point that out. get up here. I say. Okay. Alright, these people can wait. I need more pizza slices. I do have to say the controls of this game, like the jumping, the jumping doesn't feel bad at all in this game. Like I feel like I have a lot of control in air on the jumps.
Oh my. Let's not do that right now. Oh, 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 Jesus, there's two of them right here. to have bad eyesight he could they could certainly see me from front like look at that yeah here dude Another one up there. All right. Desiccated bacon. It's a travesty to see bacon like this. It truly is. So one's over there on that pork chop. One's that way, and one's that way. All right. Okay. Right. All right. So Let's figure out this one. Mm. Well, problem solved. Prieto gathered a hundred gypsophila petals that magically turned into a spore. 
Darn right I did. Woohoo! Alright, so last one is, I believe, up there. It's above me. Let's just take a break, get some spurs. I got no more tea left. Dawn was very close. Greta stepped on a memory stone and immediately was transferred to the dips off in the field. I've eaten enough pretzels. My tongue is on fire. All right, let's do good. Let's get good. That was like super fail. No, not two fails in a row. I can't handle it. There we go. Ah, okay. All right. Um, I gotta go over here. a good amount of time exploring the putrid zone, Greta found and stepped on the last button. Then, the pizza was completed, and from it erupted a key fragment for the Well of Truth. Bam! Alright. Pisha, there it is. The Pisha. Shlam. Grito collected the key fragment, a fragment that brought him closer towards the well of truth. Okay. Would it be as he was told? That his dreams would all come true there, thought Prieto. If he wanted to find out, he would have to find the rest of the key fragments. I wonder if his dream is to be able to talk. I think his mouth is actually stitched shut, which is why he can't talk. I don't know. I'm just... Just throwing ideas out there. So now, 
Look at this crazy ass shit. Oh god, we gotta go up the mountain. Alright. Okay. Oh god. didn't have all of the fragments for the well of truth yet he decided to explore the big volcano yeah I need to find this guy's people Where did I talk to that guy? Back here? I think so. Prieto gathered a hundred gypsophila petals that magically turned into a spore. was exploring the foot of the volcano he found a group of tiny cardboard people oh. who seemed quite lost when they saw Prieto they all rejoiced they were without How a doubt the lost town's adorable. I don't know how to get to the when Prieto began to walk the tiny cardboard folks couldn't keep up with Prieto's pace he should go slower if he wanted to bring them back of course there 
The tiny cardboard folks couldn't keep up with Prieto's pace. He should go slower if he wanted to bring them back. Come on, little guys. I feel like I'm on a uh, WoW escort quest. I can make it. I can make it. Oh, when Petro yes. turned invisible, the tiny cardboard people stopped following him. Oh, they don't worry. See him. It's all good. Prieto was able to guide the tiny beings to the cardboard town. There we go. When the strange being saw them, he shook with excitement. Choo 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 choo! Whilst the tiny cardboard people returned to their homes and started the train, the crazed being said to Prieto, You brought back the choo choo, and with it my inner peace. Here, as promised, the shiny crystal. Prieto took the crystal happily. But he noticed that it wasn't a key fragment for the Well of Truth. Oh. It was a crystal that looked like the eye of an animal. What purpose could it serve? What a cool game this is. This has been quite, uh, quite fun. Oh, yeah. Not even... Uh, I'm not even paying attention to the fact that I'm, I'm like, dying. So let's save the game here. Really cool little game. I'm definitely interested to play the rest of it and, uh, and see what goes on and how this story works. I, uh, I think the artwork is really good in it, too. It's definitely that very... Was very close. Ray Har... Uh, Har Ray Hellhausen. Um, Claymation... Clash of Titans, like that old school, all those old um, Christmas claymations that are like classics, like it's got that kind of like feel to it. All right, let's. Let's just get ourselves some good stuff. We.
All right. But yeah, really, really cool game. Definitely a lot of fun. Um, don't forget to subscribe over on YouTube and do follow over on Odyssey. That is our YouTube backup. It does get the daily video. YouTube gets a daily video, and I usually go live and stream on there and on Twitch as well. So you can catch me in a couple different places. And uh, yeah, definitely check out all the videos. Like I said, again, tomorrow's video is going to be long. It's every single table in the Star Wars uh, pinball VR. So it was good. It was real good. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all tomorrow night close. for Witcher Princess Wednesday. Bye-bye. And immediately mm -hmm. was transferred to the Gypsophila field.